Right, Cormac, busy morning ahead, loads of horses to school. Uh, this typical of a Tuesday? Yeah, this typical of a Tuesday, yeah. We always school every Tuesday. Tierney Power comes in on a Tuesday, and Shane Roach is there, Jack Hendry and Graham are going to school today. A uh, few four year olds coming up along here now, so what have we got here? Yeah, there's a five year old well chosen horse in for the weekend. He'll go well. There's a Cave Tara horse, Graham is on there, half brother to Bama Bull. He's nice, he'll be out in two weeks, I'd say. There's Nell Salvador, Shane is on, he'll be out in two weeks. And there's Leading Life Philly, she'll run in two weeks as well. They're all for sort of Sunday week job, Dave. They're going well. The well chosen horse that you mentioned there, he'll run probably in Liz Rona, and you Liz like Rona, him? Liz Rona, yeah. I'd say he's, ent he's entered for Liz Rona, and I think that's all he's entered for. So, no, he goes well, yeah. Nice. Um, we'll look at some of the three year olds as well, then. You've, you've plenty of three year olds now to look forward to. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that you bought a few of them private then as well. So, that gave you a little bit more time in terms of breaking them earlier, and th th that, that surely is good for you going forward then. Yeah, the ones that were bought private, they're all broken now and they're broken in the summer, so yeah, they're lovely. There's a couple of good sires, a few Westerners and Presentons and Flemingsford, so they're all the right job, so they seem to be nice. And what we're what you're doing with them here now going around um night huge big field out here that yourself and Sean share and um there's what? There's eight or nine jumps there? Yeah, about eight or nine jumps. We're so we're lucky to have the field there but it's the right job now. The three year old draw jumping all the small fences and the hurdles. So that's their second there down there. They got a day out last week out there as well. So they're, they're looking nice now. They're lovely, lovely few. They'll do what? Three, four laps of this? Three laps today, yeah. They'll do three laps today and hopefully next week they'll do the same and then we'll probably go for a little school somewhere. Okay, get them away then. Get somewhere away. different than the box and yeah. that. Up to Mikey Dives now next week. I'd say it'll go. It's only up the road. So it's lovely school facilities. Good. Um, La two weeks ago then you had two winners in the one day two four-year-old winners two lovely horses one is on the sale this week um my immortal is on the tarasol sale on friday he won in bally crystal for jack henrick yeah um a shantou horse he's a yeah, lovely horse he's a lovely horse he's a horse that we always loved he's um he never done anything wrong he went up to castletown gig and on heavy ground and few little things went wrong along the way he missed a few fences and he got his tongue over his bit and he just wasn't happening from yeah. day one but even everyone the boys ride him out there philly rides him out the whole time and jack rides him and the sort of said he would be very disappointed if he got bets on the yeah he um in fairness to jack he came back in off macaston and gig and said just put a line through that he said don't worry about it he says put him away and forget come, about it come away he said he'd been two weeks so he was right and then you sent a horse up to Lochnamore on the same day, then under supervision, a son of uh, Diane, uh, Tiernan Power rode him. He was very impressive. He was impressive, yeah. He, he's a, we can get a look at him now. He's a lovely horse, isn't he? He's a lovely horse. He's about 16'3. He's a, he's a proper big chaser in the make. A big, strong horse. Big, strong horse. Yeah. And he'll go to <coughs> Doncaster. He'll go to Doncaster, yeah. The Yarton sale, yeah. He'll go to that now. He should sell well. He's, he's a presenting mayor and he's a lovely pedigree, I think. The half sister is in to run this week. Nikki Henderson have her. She's by Germany. She had one run the point to point and one, so it'll be interesting to see how she goes as well. You've had some very good success. Uh, you've moved on some very good horses uh, in your in the short time that you've been training. Cormac uh, Monkfish, I suppose, is a standout one. Yeah. Um, very good horse for Willie Mullins. Um, as people remember, back in March he won the Albert Bartlett that just touched off latest exhibition. Yeah. And Fury Road. Monkfish, yeah. He actually bet Fury Road in his point to point, so. It was lucky. No, Monkfish was a star this year, in fairness to him. He she's, could be anything. Yeah. Maybe he could be anything. I'm sure he'll make a start soon enough now, yeah. over fences. See, latest exhibition one the other day, so I suppose Monkfish will be up in the novice chase soon enough, I presume. Yeah. I'm not really sure now where he'll go, but he'd have to, she'd have to go for a novice chase, I presume, but he she looks like a Gold Cup horse for the future. Definitely, and that's what it's all about, Cormac, isn't it? About you buying these horses, moving them on, and hopefully that they turn into stars. Then. Sure, hopefully, should look, should, they're lucky for us to have to be lucky for the next person. So, yeah, we have to try to keep selling them, and hopefully they keep going on. Everybody does uh, trains different and do, does their own things. But these three-year-olds now, like you mentioned to me earlier, that they'll they'll school away, you'll bring them away. In terms of what sort of galloping do they get then? Um, at the minute they're doing simple. They're only hacking up the gal twice, and they're doing a bit of jumping. Mostly in the sand ring. Today was their second day in the field, and sure, they'll get another few days of that, and then they'll, they'll probably up to canter into tree, and they'll get a few days away, and sure, you won't be long going through them. Then come February, you see what you have. Uh, this is home here. Yourself and Sean share this the field, and yeah. you share the gallop, but it works really well the way he's running. Yeah, it works well. So sort of, 
say if we I might school with Thursday then Sean would leave his Friday or mm. the other way around we'd sort of swap and change we would never be out here the two of us never be out together so it works well now and you were able to this morning you were even able to switch riders not to, to have more lads yeah, going, so it's yeah. ideal Matt and Philip went over to him this morning he sent over Jamie and Barry and no it's working well at the minute now and the horses are going well and they say to you on a school in the morning he could get Jack and Shane and I could get his lads on another morning yeah. so it's working out well for everyone um, before I let you go give us one horse to look out for uh, this side of Christmas four year olds that you, that you like or that you're looking forward to there's two nice horses thrown very nice horses one of them is called Connie's Choice he's a westerner horse goes very well and the other that is called Long Q it's a Shantou horse didn't run yet ok they're the two you like they're the two like yeah that's good. Listen, Cormac, thanks very much for having me this morning. Uh, very best of luck on Friday with the sale of Tattersalls yeah. and next week over in the UK. No worries. Thanks, Dave.